hello welcome back again to my channel today i'll be showing how we can make this flare dress i'm making the one with black and white pattern but with a short sleeve so here is the fabrics i'm working with the first thing i'll do is to fold my two equal halves after determining the wrong and right side of my fabric so i'm holding one end of my fabric with the tip of my finger locating the other end so i can bring them together to fold into two equal halves so after folding this is what my fabric looks like the next thing i'll do now is to fold my fabrics into a flare so to do that i'll hold one end of my fabrics then i'll just drag my other hand to the end of the fabrics then to get a shape like that looks like a triangle so after getting a shape that looks like a triangle, I have my fabric folded into four with one open end. That end where I have an opening is where I'll be attaching my zip to. Next, I'll be taking my measurements. So the waist I'm working with is 38 inches divided by four is 9.25 inches. I'm adding 2.75 inches to it to make it 13 inches. This is because I want to pleat some parts of my fabrics to the upper part so i just marked 13 inches i'm holding the top of my measuring tape with one finger holding it down and i'm just at that place where i have 13 inches i'm marking that 13 inches all around that part of my fabrics so so from there i'll be measuring the length of the dress so what i'll do now is minus the half length of the dress you know we'll be attaching the upper part of this dress to this lower part so my half length is 19 inches i might subtracted that half length and i'll measure the total length of the dress which is 62 inches so my measuring tape is 60 inches so i marked 60 and i went ahead to my mark the two inches there now i'll go ahead and measure what the total length of the skirt is what i have there is 42 inches i'm making it 43 inches so that i can use that one inch to um, hem the end of the dress so what i'm doing now is marking for three inches all around the down part of my dress from that place where i have 13 inches round that is where i'll be placing my measuring tape and i'm marking for three inches all around So after marking for 3 inches all around, I'm going to connect all the points where I have marked 43 inches. So I'll go ahead and connect all the points. I'm so sorry, my pen is not so visible. I'll later use a yellow chalk. So here now I'm done and I'll be cutting through. As you can see, I use the yellow chalk here. So that I cut through that place where I measured 13 inches now, which is the waist part of the dress. And now I'm going to be cutting through the length of the dress, the down part of the way I measured 43 inches. That was my yellow chalk there, though it still didn't show very well. So I'm going to cut all the way through. So after cutting, this is what the down part of the dress looks like. Or the skirt part of the dress this is what it looks like now i'll be cutting the upper part what i did here is fold my fabrics into two equal halves first then i went ahead to fold it again to get four folds as you can see the back part of this fabric is wider than the front that is because i added 1.5 sewing allowance to the back for my zip where i'll be attaching my zip to now i'll be taking the measurements so the shoulder i'm working with is 9.5 inches I'll be measuring to the other side because that's where I'll be cutting through. So that's 9.5 inches. I'll measure the armhole length. I added one inch to the shoulder. So what I have for my armhole length is 10.5 inch. Now I'm going to connect from where I have 9.5. I'm going to connect with my ruler to where I have 10.5. So to get my armhole curve, what I'll be doing is divide the length of my arm, which is 10.5 by two so i'll have 5.25 so i went ahead to mark 5.25 so to get my armhole curve now i'll go in by 0 0.5 inches then make a curve there if you've watched the tutorial on how to draft my a basic bodies on this channel you'll understand this better because that is just what i'm doing i'm replicating that tutorial on my fabrics right here 
So now I'll be measuring the length of the upper part of this dress. My half length is 19. I'll be making it 20 because I'll be using that 1 inch extra to attach this upper part to the lower part of the dress. So, and my bust point is 13 inches. Do I didn't remember to measure the bust point? Um, so I measured the under bust. The under bust is 16. So I'll just go up 3 inches from the under bust. So anytime you don't remember to measure the bust point and you measure the other bust, just go up 3 inches from where you have your under bust and there you can measure your bust point. So 3 inches from there is 13. So that is where I'll be measuring my bust point. So the bust I'm working with is 41 inches. Then 41 divided by 4 is going to be 10.25 inches. Plus 2 inches sewing allowance, we are going to have 12.25. So now I'm taking my round measurement. So I'm placing 12.25 and I'm going to be marking it. All my markings are taken at that place where I have my ham hole curve. So next thing I'll do is to measure my waist. I'm measuring the waist at that place where I have 20 inches, which is my half length. So my waist is 38 inches divided by 4 is 9.25 plus 2 inch sewing allowance which is 11.25. So I marked and I'm connecting all the points together. I'm trying to sh shape it again to mark the chalk again but it still didn't show very well. I'm sorry about that. Now I'm cutting through first that place where I have the length. I'm cutting through that 20 inches. Then I'm going to be cutting through from that place where I marked my waist to the bust and then some whole curve. After cutting the hand, shaping the neck. So for the front, I'm working with three inches for my neck width and three inches for my neck depth. So I'm marking three inches now for the width and three inches for the depth. So what I'll do is to connect the two points together now to make like a curve for my neck. Now I'm going to be cutting just the front neck. I'm going to be shaping out the front, the neck for the front only. That's because I'll be uh, measuring the neck for the back separately because I want the depth for the back to be deeper than that of the front. So now I'm done cutting the front, the neck for the front. I'll measure that for the back. So the neck depth for the back is 4 inches. Why the neck width is three inches. So I'm connecting the two points together and I'll go ahead and cut it out. After cutting now, I'm going to open it up so you see what it looks like. So I'm cutting the, the area where I didn't cut very well. So this is the front and this is the back. As you can see, the back is wider than the front. That's because of the zip allowance we added to the back. So before I'll sew this now, I'm going to first sew the zip side so that I close it up for me to join the shoulders. Before then, let me cut my arm. So for the sleeves for this dress, I'm going to be Measuring the length of my sleeve, which is 16 inches. Now, I'll be taking my round arm measurement. So, my round arm measurement is 15 inches for the, up, for the top. So, 15 inches divided by 2, we are going to have 7.5 inch. I added 1.5 into it. So that was 9. So I measured 9. So for the down part where my elbow is, I have 14 inches divided by 2 is 7. I added 1.5 to it. That's 8.5. So I connected all the points. Now I'm making a shape that looks like an S at that upper part before I'll go ahead and cut through. Later I'll be sharing a video on how you can cut a, uh, a sleeve so that this will be easy for you to understand next time. So now I'm cutting through. I'm going to open it up so you see what the sleeve looks like. First, I'll be notching that part where I'll be attaching my sleeve to my shoulder. So that it's, um, it can be easy for me to 
place it when attaching now i've already stitched up the area where i will be attaching my zip next thing i'll do now is to hold the shoulder so i've held the shoulder or the, the front and back together now i'll be attaching the sleeves to the body before that i'll be attaching the uh, lining so I'll go ahead, attach the lining and attach the sleeve, bring it for you to see. So now I'm done attaching the sleeves and lining. This is what it looks like. Now let's take our body measurement. So I, the, the bust point I'm working with, I said it's 13 inches. I marked that 13 inches down. Then the circumference of my bust, I said my bust is 41 divided by 2 now will be 20.5. So I'll be marking 20.5 here. Then for the waist, the waist I'm working with is 38 divided by 2 is 19. So I'll be marking 19 at the waist. Next, I'll connect the points together so that I can take it to my machine and shape it out. So I'll be sewing through. So after sewing, this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to open up that part where I'll be attaching my zip, which I held with my uh, pin. So I'm removing the pin, and I'll be opening it up. Opening it up. So I went ahead to turn it to the front so that you can see what it looks like. Next thing I'll be doing now is to attach the down part of my dress to the upper part. I'm going to be ironing this when I'm done with everything. So now I'll be attaching the down part to the upper part, which is what I'm showing you now. So after we attach it, it will just look like this to look pleated on the upper part. Let me take it to my machine, so it, bring it for you to see. Thank you. If you've watched this tutorial to this point, thank you so much. Uh, please, I would like to see a comment so that we can learn together. I would love to learn from you as well. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. So this is the end of the tutorial and this is what the dress looks like.